John, could you please explain to us the relationship of the assemblage point and the bandas? Uh, it is necessary to uh, do, uh, to practice some pranayama before you have the assemblage, assemblage point corrected. Uh, the, the idea of that is to, to, to practice at least three deep breaths and to pause between the inhale and the exhale and pause again between the exhale and the inhale. After three breaths, you hold the, the, your breath, the, the client or the person holds their breath with full lungs, full capacity, and they squeeze their anus and uh, the genital area as if holding in toilet, uh, holding in going to the toilet. And you have to half swallow to close the throat. This traps the accumulated energy from the deep breathing between the two exits of the body or three X's actually, yeah. and when the assemblage point is correct, it enables the assemblage point to be moved by either knocking it gently or slapping it at the back to the position of where the crystal is being held. And that's absolutely imperative. Without cooperation from the person who's experiencing the shift by practicing the correct breathing and the application, correct application of the banders it will not be possible to shift the assemblage point to a new location or to correct the angle. That should be understood. What also should be understood is that children, uh, people with mental health problems, uh, old people uh, who cannot cooperate in this way will not be able to have their assemblage point shifted by the manual method. They are entirely dependent on electronic gem therapy. It should be clearly understood that that is the only, the only two options there are. Thank you very much.